Hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitemout.com. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2016. And uh, as always, we're going to take a look back at the newsletter and see how things did last week. Uh, these are items that are listed on eBay and found by us and put on the newsletter that we send out every week. Here it is. Uh, uh, thanks to uh, a bunch of you have sent me emails. So you like the mobile, um, if you use a mobile device, uh, uh, click here. Uh, it seems to load very quickly. People like it so far. Here are a few things that were in the newsletter. We put the uh, video in from last week and a catalog from uh, Jorg Welsh, who's a dealer over in uh, England. Gets great things, He's a very good dealer. If you're a collector of export porcelain, the guy is a huge scholar on the subject. He puts out these uh, spectacular catalogs uh, once a year or so. They're very good, easy to read, lots of good research in them, well-documented and terrific photography. So you might uh, think about uh, reaching out to him, buying his catalogs, maybe shopping with him. He's, he gets great things. He has a marvelous eye. And um, let's move on to uh, the newsletter. But keep Mr. Welsh in mind. He's a good fella. And uh, the first thing we're going to look at is this bronze. Let's take a side view of it. There it is. This is a bronze a dealer had up in the, uh, in the UK, as I recall. A beautiful quality, nice looking piece, old. It's been polished a bit over the years, obviously. There's the bottom. There's the interior, lots of use. There's a side shot. There's the mask, nicely worn. Uh, these get uh, wear on them. It's, one of the, it's a helpful way to date them at times, in addition to everything else on them, the shape and so forth. Um, and uh, what did this bring? It brought uh, 3245 uh, US. Pretty good price for that. It's a nice bronze, though. They're, hard, they're getting harder and harder to find. Then we had the uh, Puce bottle, Puce snuff bottle. Lovely white ground on it. Nice decoration. Good detail. The dragon has lots of detail in it. The bugging out eyes and the waves. See the wave pattern at the bottom here? All very good quality. Good five clawed uh, dragon. Well, well, well done. <laughs> Uh, this brought a little over 900 uh, US. Good looking, fine piece. And then there was this. This was sort of a nice buy for someone who collects, if you collect Ming bronzes, this is a nice example. Beautiful patination on it. It's a table bronze, it's probably, about, probably about six, seven inches tall. It only brought around $240. I suspect what held the price back, as you notice here, you're missing a hand. Hands are often missing on these. They tip over, and some of these bronzes, the hands are uh, applied uh, as a separate casting, and they snap off. And uh, but that one uh, went reasonably. is a good. It's a good one. Has good surface. Nice detail. Then there was this big mallet base with a femi ver decoration, and a sort of soft pinkish skin tone uh, ground with some uh, uh, incise decoration. Then over decorated with these panels of mythical beasts. And uh, the woman here uh, riding the chishi, uh, very nice quality. This brought around 2,200, and as I recall, it had a small hairline in it, but still did a good price. These are, bases are very handsome. This one was a nicely done 19th century vase. Next was this, a uh, stuff bottle. Uh, Joni's up in Canada had an auction of, uh, I don't know, a hundred and something snuff bottles they'd picked up over the last uh, six months. Some of them they bought at Sotheby's. This was an amber bottle. Beautiful color, lovely color, nice figuring in the, in the amber itself. Good carving, uh, well shaped. And uh, this bottle brought a little over $3,200 US. I thought it was still a good buy. Amber bottles are hard to come by, especially good ones. Then we had this, this Bianco cup. This is not as big as it looks. This cup was about a, about a little under two inches wide, as I recall, about the size of a shot glass, 18th century, and hard to make. The, this little cup brought uh, just about $1,000, but uh, for a collector, it was a good thing. It was a very good thing. Nice find for someone. Then we had the uh, bra, this uh, uh, jade carving, Ming Dynasty probably, uh, brought $2,213. Nicely done. Typical of these, this sort of carved out back and a nice dragon on it, nice five clawed dragon. And again, I love the way the, the, uh, the, they do the dragons, especially this one, the eyes, they sort of roll them over on the one side of the head so you can see them both. Good quality. Uh, and then last was this. this uh, I meant to blow this up. Let's get this up here. There we go. The uh, uh, Grisai decorated export plate with a gilt rim. Gild, nicely done. The gilding on this is still very good condition with these red outlines, sort of a Rococo effect. 
uh, mid 18th century. Nicely done, an allegorical plate. Uh, let's see, what did it bring? It's a, it's a, the plate is Juniper Embracing Juno. It's a very famous pattern. Uh, here's a picture of the back, there's a detail. Uh, what's this? Hold on. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. One sold at Freeman's in May of 2014. I didn't see this before. May of 2014 brought $2,500. So somebody got a wonderful, got a very good buy on 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 on, on this example here. Uh, so there you go. Other news is that um, there's a sale starting tonight, um, November 18th, running for 10 days, an auction, unreserved, a uh, couple of hundred pieces probably from seller Juice 1499. That's Chamberlain Antiques up in New Hampshire. He gets good things, and he runs pretty big sales every month or two. And here it is, and. Uh, he sent me, a lot of the sellers we, we have on here regularly send us pictures in advance. Uh, so we get to peek at them before everybody else sees them. There's a lovely Kung Shi vase he's got coming up. And a Republican uh, plaque, nice quality, top quality. A bronze, another one of those Ming bronzes. And uh, this big pair of um, export Famille Rose uh, vases <clears throat> with gilt uh, applique handles on it probably dates to about 1760 to 1775, somewhere in there. Nice looking pair of aces. Good fan. These are a wide range of stuff. There's a, it looks to be a transitional period sleeve vase. A nice uh, Femi June, uh, I don't know whether it's a bowl or a plate. I didn't get any other pictures of it, but uh, good decoration. Good Japanese mixed metal piece, and so on and so forth. Um, it's got uh, some nice things coming up. Got a good look, and there's another seated bronze, and so forth. So uh, keep an eye on it. It starts tonight. And if, if you're not getting the newsletter, subscribe. It's easy to do. Just come to the page uh, right here. You can do it right there. Just click on that button, subscribe. It's free. It's completely free. Do it every week. And uh, if you're not subscribing to us on YouTube, please do so. We put up videos at least once a week. Try to keep everybody up to date. And thanks so much for visiting. Have a great weekend. We're done for the week. See you soon. Good luck out there finding things. All right. Bye-bye.